Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. I am Professor Shamsud Jaman, Professor of Pathology. I welcome all in today's lecture on pathology. Today is the 22nd lecture on pathology. Today, day 8 of lecture on inflammation. On day 7, I have told you about definition, types and causes of chronic inflammation. Today's topic is chronic inflammatory cells. Now come to chronic inflammatory cells. Now come to chronic inflammatory cells. The name of chronic inflammatory cells macrophage lymphocyte plasma cell epithelial cell giant cell so macrophage lymphocyte plasma cell epithelial cell giant cells these are the chronic inflammatory cells we can recapitulate there are acute inflammatory cells like neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil, and these are the chronic inflammatory cells. At the site of chronic inflammation, these chronic inflammatory cells are formed. Now come to first macrophage. The audience, you know, in blood, monocyte is one of the WBC cell monocyte when this monocyte comes in tissue in tissue it is converted to macrophage so macrophage is derived from monocyte and we can recall tissue monocyte is called macrophage what is the role of macrophage now come to role of macrophages Role of macrophage, phagocytosis. So this is the important phagocytic cell. It is also called scavenger cell. It is associated with scavenging. So it is called scavenger cell also. Another function is presentation of antigen presentation of antigen to immune system presentation of antigen to immune system another role secretion of a variety of products secretion of a variety of products like interleukin 1 il1 interleukin 1 like tnf tumor necrosis factor interferon which one is antiviral agent antiviral agent it is associated with secretion of chemotactic factors chemotactic factors or chemotactic agents. These chemotactic factors or chemotactic agents are associated with the recruitment of neutrophils. Other role of macrophage, modification to epithelial cell. Modification to epithelial cell. Macrophage is modified to another chronic inflammatory cell that is modified macrophage, it is called epithelial cell. Another function macrophages 
fused together and forms inflammatory giant cell inflammatory giant cell so many macrophages fuse together and forms a single cell containing multiple nuclei and the cell become larger in size this is called inflammatory giant cell so these are the functions role of macrophages now come to another inflammatory cell lymphocyte lymphocyte you know there is t lymphocyte and b lymphocyte what is role of lymphocyte production of production of lymphokines and these lymphokines are associated with activation or stimulation to monocytes and macrophages these lymphocytes stimulates or activates monocyte and macrophage so these cells are stimulated by stimulated by lymphokines now come to plasma cell dear audience you know plasma cell like this the nucleus is eccentric replaced and there is cartwheel appearance and there is cartwheel appearance so this is the plasma cell the plasma cell you know is derived from the proliferation of b lymphocytes it is derived from proliferation of b lymphocytes and from the proliferation of b lymphocytes we get plasma cell and the role of plasma cell production of antibody production of antibody production of antibody pterodens among the all chronic inflammatory cells lymphocytes is the hallmark of chronic inflammation again we can recapitulate lymphocyte is the hallmark of chronic inflammation now come to epithelioid cell respected audience it is epithelioid cell it is not epithelium it looks like epithelium both structurally and functionally so what is epithelioid cell a chronic inflammatory cell it is a chronic inflammatory cell that structurally structurally and functionally and functionally looks like epithelium looks like epithelium both structurally and functionally but actually but actually not epithelium such type of cell is called epithelioid cell so it is not epithelium but it structurally and functionally it resembles with the epithelium so it is called epithelioid cell actually it is actually it is modified it is modified macrophage actually it is modified macrophage so if you think from black this is the monocyte when it come in tissue is known as macrophage known as macrophage and when the macrophage is modified then it is called epithelioid cell then it is called epithelioid cell so from monocyte we get macrophage and from macrophage we get epithelioid cell now come to what are the modifications occur in macrophage to become epithelioid cell 
hot modifications occur within the macrophage to become epithelioid cell. Modifications occur in macrophage to become epithelioid cell. Hot modifications. Number one, number one modification the cytoplasm that was present in the macrophage become increased becomes abundant and the cytoplasm uh, within the epithelial cell become pale pink so pale pink abundant cytoplasm pale pink abundant cytoplasm dear audience you know if this is the columnar epithelium, if this is the squamous epithelium, you know the nucleus is smaller, nucleus is smaller than cytoplasm. In epithelium, the cytoplasmic volume is more than the volume of the nucleus. So, in macrophage, what happens? First modification, the cytoplasm is increased in amount and the cytoplasm becomes pale pink. And the amount of cytoplasm within the epithelioid cell like that of the epithelium. So, pale pink abundant cytoplasm is the first modification. Another modification, the cytoplasm, cytoplasm of epithelioid cell is rich, is rich with what? Rich with endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum you know endoplasmic reticulum is associated with synthesis and it is this with vesicles and cytoplasm is this with secretory vacuoles secretory vacuoles keratin our epithelial cells are secretory. We don't get such type of secretions from the macrophage. When the macrophage is modified like this, the modified macrophage becomes secretory because it contains secretory vacuoles, vesicles, and endoplasmic reticulum, like that of the epithelium. Another modification, you know, macrophage is the potent, very important phagocytic cell. The phagocytic activity of the cell is lost and the modified macrophage become secretory, cells become secretory. So the cell that was phagocytic, the cell is converted to secretory like the epithelium. So this is the modifications that occur in the macrophage to become epithelioid cell. Now come to giant cell. First, we have to know what is giant cell. Large cell containing usually multiple multiple nuclei or large cell containing single large nucleus large nucleus is called giant cell is called giant cell so by definition the cell is large one it contains multiple nucleus like this all are nucleus by definition the giant cell and Another one is cell is large and it contains single large nucleus. This is the nucleus. So by definition, large cell containing multiple nuclei or large cell containing single large nucleus is called giant cell. So both are giant cell.
Now come to types of giant cell. We have got different types of giant cell. What are those? One is inflammatory giant cell. And another is tumor giant cell. Another is tumor giant cell. First come to inflammatory giant cell. Inflammatory giant cells are found in different types of chronic inflammation. Now come to what are different types of inflammatory giant cell, different types. Langhans giant cell, Langhans giant cell, foreign body giant cell, Tutan giant cell, Tutan giant cell, Vardin, Vardin, Finkeldi giant cell, Vardin, Finkeldi giant cell. So these are the inflammatory giant cell. Now come to first. Langhans giant cell. Langhans giant cell. What are the characteristics of Langhans giant cell? Characteristics of Langhans giant cell. Characteristics of Langhan giant cell large cell cell is very much large large cell suppose this is the large cell then multiple nuclei multiple nuclei multiple nuclei and the nuclei and the nuclei are arranged at periphery, at periphery of cell, at periphery like horseshoe, like horseshoe. So large cell containing multiple nuclei and nuclei are arranged at periphery of the cell like horseshoe. Suppose the red are the nuclei multiple nuclei they are arranged at the periphery of the cell as horseshoe you know this is the horseshoe horseshoe one end that is open and all along it is confined like this the nuclear arranged at the periphery all along except at this part and this part is the divided up nucleus so arrangement like this it is called langen giant cell and due to arrangement of the nuclei like horseshoe it is also called horseshoe giant cell also called horseshoe giant cell due to arrangement of the nuclei at the periphery like the horseshoe it is also called horseshoe giant cell. So now come to where we can get in which type of inflammation or what is the inflammation where we can get Langhans type of giant cell. This type of giant cell found in found in tuberculosis in found in tuberculosis. So at the site of tuberculosis either pulmonary or extra pulmonary site if we examine under microscope, we can get KGS necrosis. At the same time, we can get Langhans type of giant cell. Now come to foreign body giant cell.
foreign body joint cell. What are the characteristics? Characteristics of foreign body joint cell. Large cell. Multiple nuclei. And nuclei are arranged haphazardly. Haphazard arrangement of nuclei. Multiple nuclei, haphazard. Haphazard arrangement of nuclei. Suppose this is the large cell, foreign body joint cell, and red one is the nuclei. These are not arranged systematically, but there is haphazard arrangement. So, haphazard arrangement of nuclei. Where you can get? We can get foreign body joint cell in chronic inflammation caused by foreign body like silica. Found in chronic inflammation caused by caused by foreign body like silica like silica now come to Teuton giant cell what is the characteristics of Teuton giant cell Characteristics of Teuton giant cell, like before, it is also large cell. Large cell. The cell is very large. Multiple nuclei. And nuclei are arranged at the periphery of the cell, like necklace. Nuclei arranged as periphery of cell. So, nuclei arranged at periphery of cell like necklace. Like necklace. If the red one, all are nuclei. So, the arrangement of all red nuclei like necklace. This is Teuton giant cell. Where it is found? It is found in Janthoma. Found in Janthoma. Found in Janthoma. So, this is the Teuton giant cell. Another one is what the Finkel giant cell? It is found in Measles. It is found in measles. Now come to how the foreign body giant cells are formed. A single cell containing multiple nuclei in chronic inflammation. How single cell contains multiple nuclei? That is how foreign body giant cells are formed. How inflammatory giant cells? How inflammatory? giant cells are formed. The other audience, you know, inflammatory giant cell is found in chronic inflammation and it is large cell containing multiple nuclei. So how a single cell contains multiple nuclei? That is how inflammatory giant cells are formed. Formed by formed by fusion of macrophages. It is formed by fusion of macrophages. I have told you the one of the role of macrophages, many macrophages fuse together and form inflammatory giant cell. So inflammatory giant cells are formed by fusion of 
macrophages suppose this is a macrophage this is another macrophage like this this is a macrophage and this is macrophage like this this is the macrophage like this suppose this is the nucleus 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 if the five macrophages fuse together like this like this then you see single cell containing multiple nuclei so these are formed by fusion of macrophages now come to tumor giant cell now come to tumor giant cell this is the giant cell found in certain tumors giant cells found in many tumors and these are called tumor giant cell now come to some examples of tumor giant cell examples of tumor giant cell rs cell read strandberg read strandberg giant cell read strandberg giant cell rs cell read strandberg giant cell it is found in hodgkin's disease it is found in hodgkin's disease there are many types of rs cell classical rs cell and variants of rs cell i have told you giant cell may be large one containing single large nucleus also so one of the variety of rs cell mononuclear rs cell it contains single large nucleus single large nucleus so this is one of the example of the tumor giant cell that is found in hodgkin's lymphoma the name of giant cell is reed strandberg giant cell or rs cell and this is the variety or variant of rs cell containing single nucleus another is giant cell of giant cell tumor of bone a tumor that occurs in bone known as giant cell tumor the giant cell tumor contains many giant cells these are nothing but the tumor giant cells so giant cell of giant cell tumor of bone is an example of tumor giant cell so rs cell giant cell of giant cell tumor of bone are the examples of tumor giant cells rs cell is found the name of tumor is hodgkin's lymphoma and giant cell found in tumor no name is giant cell tumor of bone now come to how tumor giant cell is formed we know inflammatory giant cells are formed by fusion of macrophages now come to how tumor giant cells are formed how tumor giant cells are formed dear audience you know during normal cell division during normal mitosis prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase you know in normal mitosis you know if the mitotic cell if the nucleus containing chromosome you know during cell division what happens the cytoplasmic division and nuclear division run parallel and run parallel run parallel ultimately the nucleus is divided and cytoplasm is divided and two daughter cells are formed so nuclear division and cytoplasm division run parallel and uh, there is division of nucleus and division of chromosomes is completed at the same time completed at the same time in tumor in tumor you know in cancer you know there is rapid proliferation of cells the rapid proliferation of cells due to rapidity of proliferation of cells sometimes 
in cancer in sometimes in cancer what happens the nuclear division is completed before the completion of cytoplasm what happens in can certain in certain cancers sometimes nuclear division nuclear division is completed is completed before the completion before the completion of cytoplasmic division cytoplasmic division it so happens if there is completion of nuclear division before the completion of cytoplasmic division the cell contains then the cell contains more than one nucleus and this is called tumor giant cell by definition large cell containing multiple nuclei large cell containing single large nuclei is called giant cell so this is formed when nuclear division is completed before the completion of cytoplasmic division so this is all about the chronic inflammatory cells to adapt to this thanks all